Okay, John, thank you very much indeed for that. John Sudworth there in New York. And we can also get some analysis from William Wexler, who is a senior director of the Atlantic Council's Rafi Kariri Center and Middle East programs. Thank you very much for being with us. Um, how significant do you think this UN resolution is? It's significant, but quite frankly, there are three negotiations going on right now. And of the three, it's probably the least significant. The other two are the ones through intelligence channels that are trying to negotiate the ceasefire itself for the, for the release of hostages. And the other one is the set of negotiations that are happening within is the Israeli political system right now that are putting great stress on the current government. In terms of what's happened with the Americans on this, of course, the United States is Israel's closest ally, its most important ally. How big a shift do you think it was for the US to abstain on this vote? And, and, and what will be the consequences of the United States' relationship with Israel now? It's, it's less of a shift in substance, but it is a significant shift in the optics, in the perception. This resolution was better than the ones that the United States had vetoed in the past. It's not as good as the one that the United States put forward on Friday and China and uh, uh, Russia uh, vetoed. Um, it doesn't call out Hamas, which, of course, the UN Security Council could have called out al-Qaeda one day after 9-11 but still to this date has not called out um, Hamas for its terrorist activity. But at the end of the day, the Biden administration decided to let this go through because it had accomplished much of what it wanted to accomplish with one of these resolutions. And it was also very aware of the signal that it would send to, the, uh, to Prime Minister Netanyahu. And Prime Minister Netanyahu, as we were hearing earlier, has cancelled that delegation to Washington. I mean, is that just a, a symbol of his anger, do you think? Is that as far as it goes? Well, I think he was he sent this delegation under a tremendous amount of pressure from the United States, who had accused him of not having a strategy for protecting innocent civilians in the instance of, of a military assault into Rafah. Um, so he was happy to take the opportunity to pull this delegation back. Okay, uh, very good to talk to you, William.